report on problems at a Norfolk nursing home a week ago sparked responses from people with similar ordeals at centers owned by the same company. Sabre Healthcare operates seven facilities in Hampton Roads and more than 30 across the state. Investigative reporter Chris Horn follows up tonight with a case that involves a matter of life and death. Chris. Regina, last week it was Autumn Care of Norfolk when the son of a resident pulled his mother out. This time it's Autumn Care of Chesapeake, and the resident and her daughter agreed that this facility was no place for mom either. She's in Chesapeake Regional Hospital. Amy's mother is actually back at Chesapeake Regional. She had recent back surgery there and went to Autumn Care of Chesapeake for rehab on January 17th. Her incision from the surgery got drastically worse over the next five days. And was left in the bed in soiled bedding. And that's how it became infected. That's what we think happened. The Autumn Care doctor prescribed medication. We're just going to start her on oral antibiotics. She's good. That's all we need to do here. But she needed far more than that. My mother was delirious, confused, in excruciating, agonizing pain. The wound is oozing so bad they can't keep a clean dressing on it. The nurses are saying, and the care partner is saying, this is really bad. So Amy supported her mother's decision to leave Autumn Care and was taken back to Chesapeake Regional by ambulance. That's where she got a far more serious diagnosis. She has three bacterial infections in the wound. She has MRSA, she has E. coli, and the third one is Proteus, which can be deadly if not properly treated. Her condition not only required IV antibiotics, it required surgery. And they took her right into the ER. She was admitted, and she's, she's been there ever since. It's not the first time her mother's been to Autumn Care of Chesapeake. She's had two major surgeries before that she did a post-op recovery at that same facility, and it was fine. The people okay. were wonderful. The care was great. But this time, Amy says a lack of proper care and adequate staffing caused her mother to suffer. Nobody deserves what she has been through. It's been excruciating for her. It's been humiliating for her. And legislation addressing minimum staffing levels at Virginia nursing homes died in committee yesterday in the General Assembly, as it has numerous times. We will reach out once again to the parent company of Autumn Care, this time with links to both stories to see what they are willing to do. Meantime, stay with us. Wavy News 10 at 6 starts right now.